So good morning to everyone. Today is the day that all the babies are gonna get disbanded. Now, I wish I had the tools to do it myself, even though I'm not 100% sure, and maybe this is a good thing and it's a sign that I shouldn't have done it this time, but uh, they are in the mail now, so they should be here soon. And this is something that I'm gonna do myself next time when we start kidding again in the month of May. And for sure, Mocha's babies are gonna have horns because she is horned and Rocky is horned. He's having a terrible morning today. Uh, Rocky <laughs> passed, they're just not seeing eye to eye today. So anyways, I'm kind of late. I'm gonna do chores. I'll take you around just to see around. It's such a beautiful day here in Southern Oregon. It's sunny, it is probably in the upper 40s because it still is early in the morning but it still is too late for them and they're letting me know right now so good morning how is everyone doing how are my girlies good morning annabelle oh you're in such a bad mood as every morning hi sweet baby mocha Mogra is uh, going for the number one spot of the moodiest goat in the farm. Let me see if you can see her belly. <laughs> Just look, it is starting to show. Um, it doesn't show that much from the top. You should see her from behind. Hi, my girlies. Hi, children. It is time to go out and clean this bed. What's up with you, little girl? Are you just tired? Today's a big day, so you better be feeling your best. Mm, I'm gonna check on her. I don't like that she's being like that. Okay, she got up. That's not her. That's not really, she's kind of laying under her, if you can see her right there, right there. Um, but Mr. Cow was sleeping by her, and the other two were sleeping there. As you can see, they're starting to eat with mom, they're eating grain, and some pellets, and they're eating alfalfa, and they're just starting to act like more older baby goats. I'm kind of worried about this one right here. Yes, you. You were born for the camera, huh? Now, one of the things that I've experienced last time when I took the kids to be disbudded is that not every vet specializes in goats. So it, in my area, um, it's kind of hard and you have to go specifically on the day that that person is there available at the vet's office and sometimes it means waiting so I am at the two week mark and uh, they assured me that this is totally doable and there's no but I still feel like on YouTube you hear as long I mean as soon as you start feeling uh, horn buds you have to disbud them the vet says otherwise so hopefully you know for next time I'll keep some of this experience in mind before I start disbudding my kids my kids of course my kids don't need to be disbudded but the next batch of kids that are mochas I also had an experience with the vet I'm gonna link that video it's not raining it's the trees <laughs> I'm gonna link the video where I share with you about this budding and how I disbudded a polled goat. It's a story. I hope you uh, take it easy on me. I just had no idea at the time. And I am hoping that I'm better now. So when Annabelle, who is polled, uh, delivers their babies in the month of June, then I'll be able to see for myself which ones are polled and which ones are not and that way makes it easy on myself and the idea of having to trust in somebody else to decide if they're pulled or not. Are you looking for your mom, Mr. Cow? Where's your mama? Oh, that's your brother, your homie. Hi, 
Hi, Comey. You're a hand fool. <laughs> and boys are being boys. Those three are so cute. <laughs> Mom's calling you guys. Where's mom? Oh my gosh, the three amigos are something else. Now when I take the kids to the vet, they are um, sleepy when I pick them up. They are given some kind of medicine, so they're tired, sleepy, and they don't fight it. Some people don't really like that. They consider that um, the anesthesia that is really dangerous to give to goats in general, especially kids. So I think that the two week point for these kids, it's a great thing because they were born so, so little that it gave them a chance to grow a little bit more and that way put on some weight before going under some kind of anesthetic. I've read in many, many books that there are owners all around the world that they do give them this kind of medicine to their goats before they disbud them. If you watch any YouTube videos, you probably know that most people don't. So I don't know if it's a good thing or if it's a bad thing. A thing. Uh, right now, that's my only option. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pay for somebody else to do it. But then um, I hope to gain the experience and the practice and that my research and um, some of my mentors right now will be able to explain to me how to do it so they don't grow skirts. Those two really do love their mom. Cookie. Now, if you don't know what skirts are, are basically some deformed horns that grow when the disbinding doesn't, doesn't go as planned. And I do have a goat that has that. Actually, I have two, which is uh, Rocky, our back, and his brother, the weather Duke. Um, Rocky skirts are pretty bad. I'm gonna have to trim it, clip it, this one. It's, um, it's, that's why I'm so obsessed with skirts. And he has them too. But as I was sharing in another video, <laughs> he doesn't like, want me to touch them, but you can see that better from here. Can you see him? Oh, he was one of the two that was traumatized by me clipping them, so he doesn't want me to touch them. He rather misses his food, but you can see that dark thing over there. That's one of them. You're okay. I'm not going to trim them, okay? You're good. Yeah, I can, I can pet you without touching your skirts, okay? I know. I know, you're itchy, you're always so itchy, I'm so sorry. So, I, it's really hard and it's very traumatizing to them to have to clip them. I'm gonna use clip for lack of a better word. So, to me, it's one of those things that I really don't want happening again. And I feel like you have to be confident enough to do it for as long as it needs to be and use it the way that you should be on bugs just to make sure that they don't grow any scars. Um, this boy it's pretty traumatized by me clipping them and um, at this point with Rocky I feel like I need to saw them off Why you like to be so sneaky? No sneaking around. No sneaking around, my boy. They look really bad. If you look at Rocky, I think he's so handsome, so cute. But I don't like his curves. And to remove them, it's a very expensive surgery that, you know, at this point, I can't do. But given the opportunity, I would do it in a heartbeat. If I had the money today to do it, I'd do it in a heartbeat. And also for Duke Harweather. Now, he doesn't have the full hormones of a buck. So because of that, he is really not growing them as big and as pointy as Rockies are. But they're still there and it really... You can't really see them that much on him and I am assuming because of hormones not being there because he's a weather but 
I really, really don't like scars and they start going into their head and then they start bleeding and when they headbutt, they start bleeding and it's really a constant checking on the bugs that sometimes are super stinky and that I have to be on top of it just to make sure that they don't have any infections. Now, um, I'm gonna have to give them baths uh, soon. So I'm super excited for that. I really want them to go back to their cute little fluffy selves. And right now they're still, you know, with the remnants of pee and disgustingness that the rat season left behind. But that will be coming. It's just a matter of time and getting the priorities in order. So right now these kids need to be disbutted. They need to be registered. They need to be posted. They need to be sold. And so I'm going through the motions with everything so I can, you know, get things done around here. But um, I also have a bunch of other projects that I'm working on, like that little greenhouse of a hotbed that I've been building. I'm done with it. I just have to fill it up. And I feel like that takes a lot of time. I've been going through the woods, picking up uh, sticks and things to fill it up. And... Um, it's really taking more time than I thought it was gonna take. You're such a, you're such a cute boy, but you're so loud. Yes, you are, just like your mom. Yes, you Tasmanian devil. Hi, kids. Are you ready to go to your first visit to the vet? Hopefully the last one in your life. Stop it, lay down. Auntie Hope is a little crazy. So I'm gonna, last time I did the same thing, I got one of this big Costco totes with a little bit of fine shavings. Hopefully that's, I feel like that's the most absorbent thing. And we are gonna go.